From this terrifying scene last night to the reality of, of it all when the sun rises, tonight a look at how violent weather is impacting families all across southern Minnesota and North Iowa. The cleanup begins in several area towns after a night of devastating storms. Some estimates are putting that 20 tornadoes touched down in southern Minnesota and North Iowa last night. Now folks are coming together to recover. KIMT News 3's Brian Scott joins us in the newsroom. And Brian, how are cleanup efforts going tonight? Well, Jamie, one of the first communities hit last night was the small town of Keister, Minnesota. Folks there took shelter as the strong winds rushed through, causing heavy damage along the way. Now the tornadoes are gone and the people in Keister are cleaning up. This is not how Lisa Houston expected to spend her Friday. I really wasn't scared until it was over, then I was nervous. She's picking up the pieces of her storm-damaged home. Guys were just really grayish and green, and, and then I've heard on the radio that there were like several tornadoes in the area. Folks across the small community are cleaning up and sharing their stories of the terrifying night before. The basement, we had our back up, backs up against the wall, and we could feel our whole house just shake, and you could hear it popping and crackling. It was pretty scary. Within an hour of the storm Thursday night, emergency crews were on hand, making sure everyone was okay. By morning, volunteers from all around the area converged on Keister to assess the damage and help out. Yeah, we got people come from all over, come and help people from surrounding towns. A lot of tree damage, yeah, and then some house damage, roof damage, shingles and stuff like that. Some of them got lifted up, and some people have lost their roofs too. But the tale most are telling is one of relief. Most are thankful things aren't worse. It was pretty bad, but it, and then again, you could always just see, you know, it could be worse. I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. We don't, you know, just trees down and the two shingles off our house. Well, the job may be big. People here say this is not the end of Keister. We'll just clean it up and move on. <laughs> And both the Red Cross and Salvation Army are on hand to help out with the recovery as well, Jamie. Folks in town say they're still without power, and they tell us that will hopefully be restored by tomorrow. All right, thank you, Brian. The worst damage in Keister is about a mile and a half outside of town where a farmhouse is torn apart. The people living there say they are planning on rebuilding.